demonstrated now in this that's before us. This is the key to revival. This is the key to blessing as we see here. This is also the grounds of forgiveness and pardon. And so repentance must be viewed in its scriptural setting. By it, we do not mean we've clearly seen sorrow. Sorrow works it, but it can't be equated with it. Repentance is a change of mind, of will, of intention, of purpose, and consequently of action. And we see it here. This is the, temp the purpose of these days of meditation and study and giving ourselves to the Word of God because we're firmly convinced that the church in America is unblessable in its present state. Uh, there's no evidence that I can see that corporately any church is moving into the place of blessing, but at the same time God is gloriously working at the present time in our land. You may not be aware of it, but the Lord is working, and he's working with individuals. We find that these individuals are from almost every communion. It's quite amazing these days to meet people that have come from Anglican background or a Episcopal background that find that God has wonderfully met them. They've been gloriously saved and wonderfully brought into fellowship with Christ and with each other. We also find that there's happening today a very strange thing. It hasn't happened since the time of Wesley that God by his spirit is sovereignly raising up groups of people you know as a church that for six years I've been with you, I've been sounding this cry, I've been saying to you that the move of God is going to come from small groups of people that meet together in homes under the auspices of the church fellowship and in accord with its interest and purpose. But now we discover that there's something like 150 such groups a week that are being formed across the land. The American Baptists have become so concerned about it that they've taken my dear good friend William Nelson from his pastoral duties and made him editor of the magazine Frontiers. The whole purpose of the magazine is to encourage among the American Baptists the meeting together of their people to seek God, to study the word, to nourish and encourage themselves in the truths of the Lord. For they realize that as important as the church services are, they do not meet the need for fellowship and for sharing of the things of Christ.